Welcome back to the Whiskey Couch with me, Gustav Miller as your host. And today's whiskey, the last one in this series that I'm doing on Nika whiskies. And today I'm reviewing the Yochi single malt from Nika. Nika, of course, founded in 1934 by Masataka Taketsura. And six years later, later in 1940, the first Nika whiskey was launched. Nika is owned by the Nika Whiskey Distilling Company with its headquarters in Tokyo, Japan. And it owns several whiskey related facilities, including the Miyagiku Distillery and the Yochi Distillery, and also the Ben Nevis Distillery in Scotland. <clears throat> That's what the Yochi Distillery looks like, and it is situated in Japan, way up there in the north, Yochi Distillery. This whiskey is a single malt produced at the Yochi Distillery, bottled at 43% ABV alcohol by volume, matured in ex bourbon, ex sherry, and other casks. No information about chill filtration or coloring added. No H statement. Mm, there's a lot of information on the box. The gift box. Let's see what it says on the gift box. Very nicely designed gift box. Some information on the back there. Yochi Single Malt. Having won several international awards, including World's Best Single Malt in 2001 and 2008, Yochi has made a name for itself and is now one of the most famous distilleries in the world. The various expressions of Yochi are entirely unique and unlike any of the others. This edition, with no age indication, is impressively balanced and full of personality. The color is golden copper, golden copper color. And what can we expect on the nose? Fruitiness, red peach, pastry qualities, oaky notes, warm spices like cinnamon. On the palate, lively and fresh. And then all of the Elements on the nose will repeat themselves on the palate with a bit stronger pepper notes and nutshell nuances. The finish it develops into salty and oak tones, a well contained oakiness. Yochi Yochi is, of course, the more peated version of the Nika whiskies. Peat smoke, but it is a very light peat smoke. If I have to say around 15 ppm spots per million. And the fruitiness I agree with on the nose. And also that pastry element. No cinnamon, I must say, I'm not getting the cinnamon. But I'm getting an earthy component, component almost the same as the Nika White. Citrus, chocolate, vanilla and nuts. That's what I'm getting. On the nose, combined with that lovely, um, just mild peat smoke nose. Mm. Very young, very fresh, very vibrant. You can feel that alcohol tingling on your tongue. Mm. The peat smoke is there. Mm. The oak spices are there, but there's also some, some vanilla and caramel. 
but I'm also picking up a sherry. There's a sherry note as well in the mix. The salted honey is also there. Malty. Mm. Mm, there's definitely a saltiness with that peatiness. Mm. The finish is longer than the Miyagiku. I must say the one that I did yesterday. A longer finish. The spiciness together with the sherry, caramel, vanilla... And a very slight fruitiness is lingering. Oak spices. And it's got a dryish finish right at the end. Let's see what a few drops of water will do. 43% alcohol by volume. So you can add a few drops of water just to open it up a little bit. Mmm, there's a fruit candy aroma that now emerges. Fruit candy. On the palate, with a few drops of water, it evolves to a creamy honey and pepper kind of feel on the palate. This is for me my favorite expression if I think of the whole range of Nikas that I did. Definitely my favorite the Yochi of the five Nikas that I did. In a nutshell I would say honeyed peat smoke with a peppery balance and I definitely prefer this one Still expensive, around $80 in the US for a 700 mil. And there's a fly now here that wants to join in with this whiskey tasting. Around 80 pounds in the UK and 800 rand for a 500 mil in South Africa. So quite expensive. If you want to pair this whiskey with a food snack, then I would recommend seafood. Uh, a peaty, salty whiskey is always a whiskey that calls for a bit of seafood. I've got a tempura prawn here. It is a prawn that is um, fried in a doughy covering. And I'm going to try that. I've dipped the end here in a sweet chili sauce. Mm. Wonderful, the sweet chilliness. Mm. The sweetness of the chili, in contrast with the pepperiness of the whiskey and the malty. Feeling and the um, what is that word? The um, the pastry feeling of the whiskey with that doughy covering of the tempura prawn makes for a wonderful pairing. This is quite a treat and something that you will have to try. Thank you for watching. I'm going to get rid of this fly and I will see you again tomorrow. More whiskey tasting, more whiskey reviews, and more whiskey and food pairings to come. Slanger.